Good morning, everybody. It is another eventing vlog, and it's very early in the morning. If you can see a little bit of sunrise in my background, um, probably about quarter to five now. I've been up since 4 a.m. getting bits done, and if you cannot tell by my attire at half four in the morning when I was getting dressed or whenever it was. Um, it is still warm here in the UK. It's quite lovely. I am slathered with sun cream. Um, just a sec. I am slathered with sun cream, which means I've got proper holiday vibes going on. And there is a lot to get done before we leave at quarter past six. We are taking out both Donut and Maggie today and um, it's the first time that I've properly attempted doing two in a day from one lorry and we they're both doing the B100 class so we have got very very short gaps in between everything like um, I think like 20 minutes in between the jumping phases so we've got wonderful Amy coming with us to give us a hand. Um, we did a test run a few weeks ago where we went show jumping and we managed with the two of them on the lorry. Obviously the lorry, I'll show you in a second. We've had the lorry modified since Donut climbed on the tack locker. So we've now got a nice slopey bit. It means that if anybody climbs up, they'll slide right back down. So um, hopefully, touch wood, all will be well. I've got obviously Maggie to plat, donut to plat, and I've got some stables to muck out. Cause hello, you're in, aren't you? So we've got Miss Magsy in, and we've got Sick Note over here in. He says hello, good boy. Um, to be fair, he is not a Sick Note. I think we're blaming you for it, aren't we? Um, he came in with a very big cut on his leg, didn't you, sweetheart? yes I did and um we got the vet out to stitch it and good job we did because it turned out it was like going down to the bone um so he's got stitches and is on antibiotics I think I'm just having a look so he needs breakfast yeah, that is his last antibiotic left to have and then he'll be back good as new soon enough but obviously at the minute with it being so warm i don't want um him to be out with the flies so he can go and have a little bit of time out now while i get nothing out done need to do maggie got a couple of bridles left to wipe over then need to fetch flinton and um donut in plat donut and I've also got the schooling livery pony here, so she needs to come in else she's gonna like, get left out by herself when we take the two gingers away. So I've got the stable, third stable prepped ready for her. Flint will go where Maggie is. Titan obviously stays in his stable. He's in there because there's a camera on that stable. And um, yeah, ginger horses go on the lorry. So I've just loaded the bike up because that has to go into the first compartment rather than the last because the horses will be in the other two. You've got bed head. He says, I've got bedding in my hair. Um, and yeah, so like I say, a lot to do and we are leaving at quarter past six because I then need to walk my course when I get there because it's going to be bish bash bosh more than ever mentioned before because... Um, I've got two properly on the go in, in um, one size, so it's, let's get cracking. I best eat lots of food today. That That is the one thing that is for sure. Anyway, I'm going to stop chatting and get going. Summer turning cold, baby's growing up.
via the um, living rather than having to unload the horses. I'm gonna go walk the course. Want the good, want the bad, all the feelings. Want you happy and sad in between them. If there's one thing I truly believe in Ordinary love, ordinary love I wanna always sleep in your shirt Cause it's ours Brush my teeth while you're taking a shower If there's one thing I know there is power In ordinary love, ordinary love done um it seems a fairly nice track um it doesn't seem to change massively year on year with elon so i kind of knew what i thought i was expecting um so yeah grounds feels fantastic it's cut up where i'm bouncing it's because there's few prints that have ugh, cut into it so that's how fantastic the ground is it can be a bit firm here but we had some good rain this last few weeks which is wonderful news i'm out of puff from pack cycling up that last hill despite having a cyst i was still stood up cycling because it's quite steep right let's go get them ready shall we right then so far so good there's a nutty there and there's a magsy there so now i am ready i'm just hoping they bathe okay so with maggie um her dressage arena was way too far away to get 
any sort of decent video. It was in the far corner of the arena field. So when we realised that mum just got some extra video of her in the warm up, um, as you can see, she was really quite forward thinking, quite keen on the day. It was quite, it's interesting. I'm wondering if um, she was just excited to compete or if it was having donut with her that had her fired up. <clears throat> Um, so with that, I think it makes her look really, really sparkly and, um, impressive, which is fantastic. But by the time we got into our test, she was also just a little bit naughty. She was just trying to, she was quite keen to counter the whole time, etc. So, um, you can just see I'm doing a little bit of counterflexion here to try and get her a little bit straighter and then a little bit more uphill. So we're flexing side to side. Um, but for the test, my view on it was that um, it ended up quite hurried and unbalanced. And um, although the work was quite nice, it wasn't our usual standard. And looking at the test sheet that is exactly what the judge thought too our scores ranged between 6 and 7.5 and the overall feel was um that we needed more balance i was losing um control of the shoulder and sometimes the rhythm wasn't quite there it was sort of hurrying and then slowing down and um like our walk transition the the transition as the judge put was abrupt like she tried she tried to halt and you can just see she's she's loving life in that warm-up and she went even a bit more sparkly by the time we went round to the um dressage arena and there was cross country going on behind the hedge so um it's just one of those things i actually reckon i could have probably managed to get half a mark higher for every movement had I done the test in sitting because I would have had a little bit more control over her so in future if she feels this keen and this jolly which is wonderful I will probably just do the test in sitting in future um and just to be able to sort of pin her down to be a bit more compliant <laughs> but um yeah still not a terrible test we got a 32.3 for our test um and I think it just put us sort of middle of the pack so I know exactly what we can do to do better next time okay Donutty's turn now um the changeover went very smoothly we um what we did was Amy and mum got Donut off the lorry while I was on my way back with Maggie and we untacked Maggie at one side of the lorry and um, Amy and mum started getting donut ready at the other side and then we didn't let them see each other while I got loaded up so they could hear each other and they were sort of yelling a little bit but they didn't get in a tiz because they hadn't really seen each other um, so then Maggie was back on the lorry and behaving really well and then we got donut back out so um, in preparation for all of this I've been just doing lots of really slow work at home with Donut because he gets really um keen and really fresh at home and it then means I don't get to do the dressage training that I want to because he sort of goes and has a bit of a run around and gets in a bit of a tizwas and gets very tense and hollow and it isn't very productive and then I don't get the opportunity to build up his skills or his muscles. So um, I think he's looking in a lot better frame. He's looking a lot more compliant. And that sparkle that we talk about with Maggie, I would love to let Tony add that in at some stage, but he is definitely not ready for it yet. So all he wants to do is a compliant and what I would call a safe test, one where he just feels like he is in the same rhythm all the way along and for me it feels like I'm riding incredibly slowly um but that's what he needs at the moment anyway let's have a look at this test here's our center line which I thought was quite smart and quite straight we maintained the rhythm the whole way down 
Um, and then I'm looking onto my turn. So we got a seven for our center line, which is good. And then we turned left at C and then we had to turn left at E as well. And we got a seven, but the judge's comment was steady the contact. And you will have noticed where his head just wasn't consistently still as he went around. And that was because he lost a little bit of balance. He was nice and relaxed um, over his back, etc. But there was not the balance there for him to stay consistent down the contact. And then we had to turn right at B and then we were on to a three loop serpentine. So we got a seven for our turn right with no comment. And then here's our three loop serpentine. And we got a seven for that too with no con comment. I would again say he needs to be steadier in the contact. And from a rider's perspective, his um, straightness wasn't quite bang on. When I asked him to bend left... He was sort of straight halfway down his right neck and then almost kinked right and then kinked left. So it wasn't true, but um, for the sake of the task that I was doing my best to try and make it look as good as possible. And clearly to the judge, it didn't look bad because we were getting good scores. So here's our funny squircle test. Um, I think we've seen it before where we turn right, we do a circle at X then we turn right again. We got a seven for our counter transition with use back more, which is very true. He gets a bit excited in his transition and likes to go hollow. Um, but that was a pretty good transition for him. And then we got a seven for our circle and a seven for our turn right and transition to trot. So um, all of these sevens suggest to me that the judge is just fairly happy she's not blown away but it is correct we are doing it right etc and um you know it, it doesn't warrant a comment particularly free walk on a long rain i thought he had some lovely stretch he had some good clear steps and we got a seven for that and then a seven for our medium walk and working trot we dropped down to a 6.5 for our counter transition left and the judge wanted him more over the back. I would agree. It was definitely a worse transition than his right counter transition. Um, and I find it quite hard to pick him up after he's been doing the walk work because he then gets excited the moment I pick up the reins. I know he's never actually raced, but they will have tested him up the gallops to see if he was useful and you know the principle with race horses you pick up the reins they go faster so i think there's a little bit of that in his head somehow so that's probably the hardest time for me during a test and you could just see here where he's going a bit sideways once he's had the walk it sort of lets him get a bit freer and looser and he can play about a little bit more so it takes a bit more work from me so when we finished off the test on sevens bar our center line where we needed more balance and we got a 6.5 which left him on 31 so he beat maggie and he was in the top five after dressage right on to show jumping you're gonna have something by the end of the day yeah Right then, here is Maggie's round. So we did another quick change and grabbed Maggie off and popped Donut back on the lorry. And I quickly walked my show jumping course. Quick warm up and in we go. So this was quite a wiggly course. Um, so related distance one to two and then a bit of a funny turn back to this fan for three. And as you can see, Maggie was feeling just as keen as she felt um, when she was doing dressage. Then a bit of a turn back that came quite quickly to number four there as a double, two-strided upright double. Then you're almost sort of slotting back to that oxer and a right angle turn to number six, which we then had a fairly standard dog leg here to this oxer. And Maggie just felt so keen, full of beans finding it very, very easy. I was trying to keep my balance. This was a bit of a turn back on yourself and then you had to turn right straight after. So bearing in mind that I um, twist right, I tried to really, really keep myself straight so she finished her jump and didn't have it down. And then we came flying round to the last.
Dana tea next. Sorry for no video in between phases. It was honestly quite hectic and I was thrilled with how Donut was jumping around here. We've been doing a bit of work and I've been finding a little bit of niggles um, after our training with Nicola where it's just trying to get that balance of making sure that what I'm doing is working towards the goals that she set for me but also um, making sure that we're in a stage that we're ready to compete because you don't just change everything and it goes perfectly. And I feel like we've got a really nice middle ground here. He was jumping really super and so far no poles down, which is fantastic. So obviously Maggie did a clear. I was quite worried about this turn back for Donut because he doesn't have half as much balance as Maggie. And you can see we just did a couple of trot strides. Then we lost a bit of balance on this turn. And interestingly... Donut actually had a look at the fence. I don't think he's ever really stopped her to show jump, so it was a bit of a shock for me. So I just brought him back around again. Couldn't take too long because I knew I'd get time faults if I did. And we fell out of the shoulder, but I said, no, you're actually going, mate. And he said, oh, okay, then best go. Um, and then with that, he then went to the last. And <laughs> frustratingly, he had no poles down. But also, thrillingly, he had no poles down. So I am over the moon that he managed to leave everything up. I think that's the first time he's done that round of meter track. Obviously slightly frustrating that we've had our first ever show jumping stop, but by the same token, he is green and he's been jumping a year. He's not even been competing a year, bless him. Um, and it's just, that's just down to experience, isn't it? And he still managed to get his act together and finish off the course and do really well. So next we go on to the cross country and I kept Donut out at that stage. We then went, we did Donut first for cross country and then Maggie. Yeah. Me and my friends are waiting in line, sharing one last blue camo. Don't have any money, but we're going out. Yeah, we saved up. Thank you. 
so Clever Donut did a wonderful clear within the time and then we had to do a very quick change again on to Maggie. Donny had some um, green moments, a bit like the fence on the way into the water where he had a bit of a wiggle, but overall he was getting really good. So here's Maggie. She started off a little bit spooky. You can see me having to work hard there. Um, but hopefully you'll notice as the course goes on, she gets braver and bolder. And we know with her, the jump isn't the issue. It's just making sure she's not so suspicious at every fence. Um, but yeah, she came out and didn't get very long to warm up. So we were practically still on our warm up as we were jumping around the first few fences and she was pinging. And you can see at Eland that it is an incredibly um, hilly course. I'm sure there's hillier out there, but you do go up and down and properly around the country. So it's good practice for our balance and a good test of their fit, particularly with that bit big hill at the end of the course. So here she comes for the water and she backed off, but she jumped very neatly in and cantered through. Lovely. Poor mum didn't even get a chance to go down to video down there because I literally had um two horses in front of me and had to go so not very long and then we go climbing back up a hill again and into those woods where the two steps are and then you can just see us peeking through having done a sunken road while in the woods come on maggie where are you i feel like a spectator now I'm just waiting for her there you go you can just see us as a little dot in the background as we sneak back down the hill to go and do a few fences before coming back up but anyway i'll let you watch and enjoy Gracious me, that was busy, so, so busy. As you can see, I'm back in my normal stuff rather than competing stuff, because it's so warm. Can we see the two? There we go, there they are. They have been fabulous. Um, Mum and Amy have been absolute top um, team helping me get them done. They've managed really well. We should be able to go competing with two out again in future. And um, we happen to do pretty well. So, one. Right, you got my glasses. And two. Have we? <laughs> so, we are very happy to top 10 placings and um we're gonna go trucking off home now so i need to find mum glasses and we need to put the dogs away and go home oh we're home and would you believe it it's actually raining isn't it nutty fantastic day really good to get a confident run because we had a bit of an iffy weekend last weekend and then the event season's gone. A bit skew with. So 
good to get that run under our belts. That's such a well run event. Come on, Nutty. Good boy. And uh, yeah, very, very pleased with both of them. And nice to know we can take them both out together now without it being overly stressful. <laughs> has passed. I'm just turning out little PPP. Perfect copy pony. Um, and yeah, that's us done. I'm pooped. It's about seven o'clock. Been up since 4am. So another long day, but very, very good to get both boys done. Like I say, I'm, I'm eternally grateful for mom and Amy keeping the show on the road and keeping the horses so calm and being able to take them both on the same day. And I'm so pleased for such a good run with both of them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. If you like the videos, please make sure that you like and subscribe to them. Uh... <coughs> <coughs> See, I hate saying that so much that I'm choking. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.